Leadership of the forum expressed grave concern about the eight months pension arrears owed its registered schemes. According to the Pensions Act 766, transfer of funds to the registered schemes are to be done within 14 days, failure of which government will pay 3% penalty. However, the leadership of the forum is demanding that government pays 5% on the arrears. The delay in the payment of 5% tier 2 pensions contributions up to the tune of eight months arrears to the public sector schemes is already having a toll on earnings of individual contributors of the schemes. The income security for pensioners envisaged under the three-tier pension scheme would not be achieved under the debt exchange program and would simply shatter the expectations of pensions. Compounding the anger of the leadership of the forum is an attempt by the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, to use pension funds as part of government's debt exchange program. The forum has called on the National Pensions Regulatory Authority to stop government from using the funds. Government should stay off pension funds. It should not be touched in any way. No haircut should be applied. Nothing like a voluntary um, signing on of any exchange program should even come into the issue at all. We don't want it. The finance minister, Ken Oforiata, is expected to begin the debt exchange program on 19th of December. However, President of the National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, Eric Angel Kabonu, has cautioned the finance minister ahead of the debt restructure. Prior agreement to the introduction of this exchange, so-called, will have to be paid and paid in full so that our workers benefit absolutely from their investment. Uh, the ministry cannot pick and choose. The ministry cannot decide to punish us for something that we have not done. The ministry cannot decide to transfer the burden of the nation onto the shoulders of poor Ghanaian workers.